Hey, God's family, it's your servant Liza here, and um, I have a short word today. Um, you know, the Lord has put it on my heart to, to help people really understand what God's family ministry is, but also to deliver an important word about a spirit attacking marriages. Um, I'm going to read Isaiah 54 and 5 um, as a foundational scripture for what I'm about to say. Isaiah 54 and 5, for your maker is your husband, the Lord of hosts is his name, and the Holy One of Israel is your Redeemer, the God of the whole earth he is called. We know that Jesus is equated uh, to the body of Christ in marriage, and that scripture in Isaiah 54 and 5 tells us that we are married to the Lord, that we are married to our God. So marriage is very, very important to God. God's family is a ministry that not only focuses on marriages, it focuses on the whole family. You know, the enemy attacks the family because one, a family divided um, can't, the household is not going to stand in itself. But the other thing is they're not really going to be able to operate effectively in the kingdom of God. So we are called God's family because first the importance is in the individual family. We, you know, we need to address identity issues. We need to address divorce. We need to address uh, marriage, marital issues. We need to address finances when it divides the house. We need to address the things that are tearing up the family itself. And then can we uh, help the individuals and in the family get equipped for what they need to do in God's family itself? in God's body of Christ. And so that is our mission. We're addressing everything, everything that we possibly can. And, um, you know, the Lord has showed me that today I need to address a devil that is attacking marriages this month here in October. October is a heightened, uh, activity, demonic and satanic. And um, while I'm not going to go into that in depth on this video, I want to talk about a spirit the Lord showed me. I am a prophet. Uh, I am a seer. So I see visions and dreams and the Lord shows me things um, spiritually. I operate by the gifts of the spirit. And he showed me a spiritual entity called the Lord of the Rings, the Lord of the Rings. Now, some of you are thinking about the movie. And rightfully so, because the Lord showed me that this devil has um, that symbolic type of characteristics in its function. You know, um, this was the antagonist of the movie. Uh, they were uh, with with all these hobbits and 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 things that are demonic in itself. You know, uh, looking for this ring. This devil inserted himself in the ring, and they're trying to destroy the ring. And the Lord showed me that, that even the name of the character meant abhorrent, you know, hatred, disgust. And so what the Lord showed me is this devil called the Lord of the Rings has hatred and disgust for marriage. He is bent on destroying the marriage bed itself, but also the body of Christ being married to the Lord, being married to God. So evil distractions this month, he's going to cause division in the house of God. And one of the things that we'll be talking about later on, uh, in the next two weeks or so is, um, about, uh, people celebrating, especially people of God celebrating anything during this month. Um, because it doesn't glorify God. This is a month that, that the satanic kingdom, the demonic kingdom that the devil, uh, uses to sacrifice, to celebrate things. And, and while I'm not going to go into that, he is having a field day, uh, infiltrating the marriage between the body and, uh, Christ because of different behaviors and things that people are doing, uh, this month in celebrating some of the things that are going on. Uh, not only that is there's heightened arguments in the household. There's a heightened level of uh, divorces 
You know, the enemy is causing pandemonium because when people are worshiping him, when the body is coming together to celebrate things that aren't of God, that is called an open door and the enemy has access to your family. The enemy has access to your house. Some of your kids are going to act rebellious this month like never before and probably already have. And some things are going to be happening that you can't really explain what's going on. And, and this is part of this Lord of the Rings, this antagonist, this devil causing problems. You know, church, a lot of times people are afraid to talk about this stuff. People don't want to address these things. They want to hear a bunch of happy messages only, and, and they don't want to talk about what's really happening. But if we read the word of God, we understand that things are not going to necessarily get better. Things have already been prophesied long ago about things getting worse. And one of the things that we have to understand is that as believers in Christ, as foreigners of this world, as the, as the Bible says, we're going to be rejected by the world. So things that are being celebrated where people feel like they need to be accepted, God is not looking for the believers to participate in these things. But today, I really want to focus on the marriage, our marriage to our maker and, and the marriages in the household. You need to see spiritually what's happening. Some of you, the devil is luring you with other acts and things that you shouldn't be participating in. And you know what I'm talking about, those of you that are going to be convicted by those words. God sees everything. He sees what you're doing in private. He sees what you make public, you know, and you have to remember that you have to answer for these things. God's family calls for you to nurture your marriage. God's family calls for you to, to go in prayer with your spouse or about your spouse or the things going on in your marriage. And go to God with it because your marriage to him is what's going to sustain your marriage in actual waking life, your natural life. Some of you just need to nurture your marriage with God. Maybe you feel like things are okay in your household, but the Lord of the Rings is attacking your actual marriage to God. You don't have time for God. Uh, you're watching other things this month. You know, it might be movies. It might be uh, sports, it might be something else. And you haven't given God even 30 minutes of your time for prayer, for a scripture, to worship him. Sometimes y'all, God just needs to, he needs for you to worship him, to give him your love. A marriage needs to be nurtured. And so I don't know what, what area you're lacking in today, God's family, but I want to let you know the Lord of the Rings is a very real entity and his AKA nickname is the Dark Lord. So, you know, don't allow him to come in between your relationship with God. Don't allow him to come in between your family and your household and your relationship with your spouse. You know, I, I will talk later, more later on another video, um, you know, about the particular holiday that is celebrated uh, this month. But I pray that you hear this message, that you understand, and in your prayers, you pray against this devil, um, this this power. And I, I thank you uh, for listening and just for uh, staying alert, staying alert. Saints, we should be praying uh, this month like never before, like never before, because while they're trying to expand the darkness, we should be shining bright as the light. I pray that this short message, uh, you know, just ignited your spirit to just think about these things and um, to be encouraged. Uh, we're praying for you. We love you. God bless you. Share this for whoever needs to hear it. And uh, we thank you for subscribing to us and just kind of listening more to, to what's
coming up. Uh, please join us on Wednesdays. We have a wordship, what I call wordship and prayer. And um, God will sometimes prophesy and there'll be a rhema word. Um, we'll be teaching things. You know, we've been teaching on fasting and on worshiping and on effective prayer. And um, as our website comes up, I'll be posting those things for the public. Um, but we ask you to stay tuned. We're a ministry that loves, loves God, loves God, and um, just want to put out the truth, you know, put out the truth uh, and what God is asking us to deliver. I pray for all your families. I pray that you are strengthened. I pray that you're allowing God to use you as a mighty vessel for him. And um, we love you. God bless you. I had to come back and, and give you a quick revelation that God, you know, spoke to me as I got done with the video. And he said, I am the Lord of the rings. He is the God of marriages. He is the God of the marriage between the body and uh, Jesus. And he said, I am. I am. God bless you.